This is a big black box that has a pretty big job. It's 9,000 pounds of ugly that keeps the city looking beautiful and makes Pittsburghers proud of their home. Electric transformers like this live underground and they only come out at night, which is why you'll probably never see one again, let alone replace one in the middle of the night. That's our job and this is life behind the lines. A lot of people don't realize that these grates here, that that's where the power is for the downtown Pittsburgh. The job takes something like this roughly eight hours, but you never know what kind of issues you're gonna run into. I mean, sometimes we have three, four foot of water in there, and then below that, you might have two or three inches of muck. There's also that 9,000 pound transformer. It needs to be placed with pinpoint accuracy. That takes more than muscle, that takes teamwork. From guys at DOC, to the network guys, to the underground splicers. Everybody has to work together to fix any issues that happen down here in the city. Yeah, we lift the hatches, and then we have to disconnect the old transformer, pull that out. We prep the new transformer while it's still on the ground. Once the circuit's taken out, we put grounds and open up protectors and transformers to make it safe for the splicers to work on. This transformer started powering Pittsburgh at 3.42 a.m. But that's not why this crew is happy to put today in the books. Something like this is, for the future, better off being proactive and changing this transformer now and keep the city lit up. If it wasn't for my department, the underground, the splicers, and the network operators, there would be no lights down here in Pittsburgh. Very few people get to see an underground crew at work but everyone sees what they do. When you drive through the tunnels and see the city, that's what I do. And that's life behind the lines.